1989, uh, my wife Margaret approached me that she had heard that this facility was for sale. It's proven to be a good decision as far as business and for the world's health. So I think we've unlocked the secrets, I, I would like to say, to, uh, to health, and that is through the oceans. And uh, that's in the form of phytoplankton, marine phytoplankton. We were working with these phytoplankton and growing shellfish, and I be was notified that I had serious health problems. Standing one day looking into my products and thinking about my problem and thinking, well, they're telling me in the world that there's cure in plants for good health. And I thought about that and I thought about, well, we have thousands of plants that no one's ever looked at. And thinking of these things, I then took a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of phytoplankton right out of the process tank, washed it down with a drink of water and I started doing that every day and uh, every day I started feeling a bit better. Each day I felt more energy. When he finally decided to start consuming the phytoplankton, well, I guess I could say I was a little bit concerned that he was doing this, but when he finally explained it to me one day that, Tiffany, these are over 200 species of wild plants. How could that not benefit my body in some way, or how could that not possibly give me energy or perhaps a little bit more stamina? And. Uh, we just started to see a shift in him. We started to, sh to see a shift in him with his mental clarity, with his sleep patterns, which was real big. He was having a really hard time sleeping. Um, his overall well-being, his energy levels, uh, his memory retention, it was quite affected. You know, eventually we got to the point where we were really supporting him to continue down the path that he was with the plankton. Our bodies are literally built to um, sustain life from whole food nutrients, not from the additives and preservatives and sugar and flavor enhancers that most of our food sources unfortunately now have. But the beautiful thing about wild marine phytoplankton is that it has been sustaining life since the dawn of time on our planet. It is completely full of nutrients such as vitamins, minerals, uh, rare trace elements, amino acids, everything that our body requires in order to sustain maximum cellular health. So this is a whole food source that your body can not only identify with, but also absorb very, very quickly and very easily. And this is kind of the second part of my dad's technology. He's actually able to break open or crack open the cell wall of the phytoplankton, which renders all of those nutrients completely bioavailable. The location of the sea farm is key. That's because phytoplankton, just like any other living creatures on the planet, require certain um, nutrients in order to survive and sustain their life. Um, so where the sea farm is located on Vancouver Island, a lot of the island is still untouched. We have rainforests, we have extraordinary rivers um, that are coming from the mainland uh, that are bringing in minerals from the Rocky Mountains and from the coastal mountains. When it rains, all of that rain is actually funneling through this ancient soil and bringing those beautiful nutrients back out into the Strait of Georgia. And that's really what is nurturing the phytoplankton and, and it allows them to grow the way that they do. If my dad were to transplant his technology someplace out, out in the world, we would never be able to get the same species of phytoplankton that we get here because this is the only place in the entire world where these particular species of phytoplankton grow. We were getting thousands of, of written phone calls. I mean, it was humbling coming to work every day because I couldn't wait to get here to hear what was on the answering machine or, or on voicemail and, you know, call my dad at home or bring him into the office and we had people showing up at the sea farm and there was all these little, almost like a little pilgrimage happening for a time there and the testimonials that were coming in were ranging from better energy, better sleep patterns, overall sense of well-being. Many, many little things that uh, we hear but by thousands and thousands of people, major, major things as myself. This is how it's made available. It's nature. We've just taken nature and only nature creates our products, not us. We've just found a way to collect them. That's all. It's a gift, you know, and quite often we receive the most beautiful gifts from the most unexpected places and the most unusual, unforeseen circumstances, and um, we're embracing it. We're embracing my dad's legacy.